Hello and welcome to Crafty Springfield within Roblox. Now guys, I'm not going to go through all the houses as I did last time because you've already seen them in last week's update. So I thought I'd start on this derelict bit of road, we'll do a quick run by just so you can really get the depth of how big this is turning out. So guys, we've got the Ned Flanders house over here. Uh, we've then got the original brown house, which has actually turned out really nice. Then got these trees, now any of the trees I've actually grabbed from the toolbox, which are really handy for the trees, uh, because once you see how easy they are to make, it's literally just squares angled and placed all over the place, obviously with the trunk in the middle, and it, yeah, really simple and it's great to get the ideas as well. Uh, so as we go further on, we've then got the Simpsons house, which we've already seen as well. Um, I'll do a little flyover afterwards. Uh, we then got a new addition, Millhouse's house. Now, you see another tree I had straight from the toolbox, and it just really does give you the ideas of how people are making them, and it's really handy to know. So I think I may shorten these windows here a little touch. I'm not sure if I've got the color completely right on this one. Uh, I'm happy with the house color, just the frames. I think I want a little bit redder. Uh, yeah, actually made a swing as well, but I can't, I don't know how to actually make it swing, but I'm pretty sure if you got the right code, you could. Uh, we've then got the modern brown house over there. Probably one of my favorite buildings, turned out really well. Just a little small for my liking. Uh, what we're going to have to do is just a room inside so it looks from the windows, it's lit up, it's got a sofa in it, uh, the corner sofa that they would have, and all those little bits just to make it look a little bit nicer. And that's probably a lot of the case for like the old brown house over there, the white house here. Uh, we'll get around and have a look at that now. And um, we'll probably just do some sort of theme to it where it's got the room so that you can go in and just sort of chill, but at the same time, not everything a house would have, so we're not taking up so many bricks. Now, I don't know if you guys are struggling to load this up, um, but I have noticed it is putting a bit of a load now on the actual game. We've got another door come off there, but uh, I have anchored that one in now, uh, because where it got so late, I thought, right, anchor them in, start again, back Wednesday. So this house turned out pretty well as well. And then we've got our last house for the night, or for the day, Wiggum's house. Now, another one, I've had to anchor the door in for now. Uh, I just couldn't get him to stand up. It means I've really got to work on the frames. It's where I try to work out of uh, out of scale. I work in scale to get all the building done. And then when it comes to the, the doors, windows, little details, I try to work out of scale. Uh, sometimes it really does go against you. So guys, if you have any suggestions for what to build next, I would love to hear it. I am going to give it a go at doing some tycoons and stuff like that. A little bit concerned that it's all been done a little too much lately. Like for this map, I just want to really get it as a simulator, get some cars and vehicles in, get some insides in some of these buildings, maybe not literally full houses, but enough to just walk in and have, have something to do, or maybe an, even an RPG kit, and make it so you do missions through houses and stuff like that. Uh, because this is looking like a quite a detailed map by the time we get the houses across this side my only concern is the more i'm actually doing the more it's altering other builds that i've done already i don't know why that's happening it's um just a learning curve for me this first time i've really used a game engine and so say i'm working on this house i'll get all of this bit sorted i'll start smoothing it off and then all of a sudden shabam this one isn't no longer smooth and bits are moving. Now I know it happens with weld anyway, but when you're anchoring, really shouldn't be an issue, but the weld still moves it around. So I'm gonna have to work on that. Uh, but apart from that, I think my whole idea was to do all of the character houses first. I'm now thinking we're gonna struggle for space uh, because there's a lot of blocks in this world. And I don't know if you guys let me know, uh, it's fine for me because I'm on PC. Uh, and I did notice my phone's working a little bit better today, but let me know if it's uh, struggling to open on your world uh, What I'm going to do is turn all of these houses into models get them over onto catalog If I have to stop making it so literally so big then we will stop if not we'll carry it on uh, 
apart from that guys that is literally all i've done this week and i'll be back on to working on it again wednesday thursday this week or the week coming but for now that is my roblox springfield and uh feel free to check it out guys thanks for watching